what's up Brooklyn and the rest of our watching is Irene here and in today's video we're going to be doing a taste test and when I say we I mean Sean and I will be taste testing some impossible meat yes so what today's video is about is we're gonna be comparing the impossible burger meat with beyond burger meat yeah fake meat let's go So we're using ground beef as a base because Sean and I are both omnivores. We both like meat a lot. So this is what we would normally have a burger made out of, ground beef. But we're going to be comparing them to what the Impossible Burger meat tastes like to the ground um, Beyond Beef tastes like. I'm only going to be seasoning them with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And we're going to be topping them with uh, we're gonna be putting them on these king hawaiian hamburger rolls they're sweet rolls tomato and spinach nothing else no cheese because we don't really want to alter the flavor we want it to be as natural as possible i will be cooking them in the pan this pan right here <laughs> with kerrygold butter i like to make mine with butter because i think you get a great sear with butter as opposed to oil so um that's it let's get started wait hold on one thing i'm only going to be using half of this meat in each package for the burgers probably not even half of the ground beef but of the plant-based meat i'm going to be using half of each for the burgers because i'm only going to make one burger for each one and we're going to share it with the taste test and then with the rest of the meat i'm going to be making some meatballs in this machine here the air fryer okay but that's later, just stay tuned for that. Let's go. Okay, so guys, so before I cook the burgers, I'm actually going to sit and make the meatballs right now. In the meatballs, I'm using shredded onion, shredded green pepper, some garlic, and the salt and pepper. That's pretty much it, okay? Oh, and some breadcrumbs. I gotta get some breadcrumbs.
Okay, the last one I'm doing, the beef ones. I think I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger simply because um, they are, uh, they're gonna shrink, this has this is beef, so it has fat in it. So I might try to make these a little bit bigger, so I might put a little bit more filler in here. Two hamburgers, I made an extra hamburger because I had extra meat. So I had two hamburgers, three meatballs. So now we're gonna start cooking these. Let me just get rid of this mess. So I just turned on the air fryer, you can hear it. Let me turn this up here. It is at 380 for five minutes to, um, to heat up. You wanna make sure the air fryer is heated before you put anything in it if you haven't been using it so that's what I'm doing now and I'm gonna put the meatballs in the air fryer I'm gonna put them in for eight minutes that's eight minutes and then I'm gonna open it shake them turn them and then put them in for a few more minutes depending on what they look like but that's how I'm gonna make them while they're cooking I'm gonna make the burgers okay so now the air fryer is fully preheated i'm going to be putting all of the meats in here now i'm going to put them in a certain order so i know which one is which when i take them out i know what they are by looking at them now raw but when they're cooked i may not so i'm going to put them in order the ground beef is going to the left i'm putting all three in i'm putting them in as i would put them in in a uh, oven you generally in the oven put them so they're hugging when you're making a large amount so um ground beef first the beyond beef here beyond meat and you can see the size is so much smaller um but i know that the ground beef is going to shrink i don't even have to have them touching not even touching no need and now here is the impossible. I know that those are a bit more red than the, as you remember, seeing they're more red than the uh, beyond. So beef, beyond, middle one, right row is impossible. In case I forget, I can come to the video and figure out how it is. All right, so I'm cooking them all at the same time. For the same amount of time, too. So. In just down here. So I'm going to turn the temperature to 350 and do this for eight minutes. All right. See that? 350, eight minutes. Start. Yes. We're going to have some balls. So while those are being cooked in the air fryer, I'm going to um, I'm going to cook the burgers in this pan, nice and clean. I said before I'm going to be using Kerry Gold butter to cook them in. That's what I like to use because I feel like you get a really nice sear on the outside when you use butter. Okay. I'm going to do my best to cook these to three uh, to medium. That's what I like. I don't want them overcooked at all. I'm putting the butter. Oh, that's a lot of butter. I didn't put that much. Cut that in half. All right. So, putting that in the cold pan. And this. I'm putting it over medium high heat. And. This is like a, almost like a cast iron pan almost. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a nonstick pan. And I'm going to cook the beef burgers first. I'm making two. 
one with cheese, one without. Because I decided I wanted a full burger. So I'm gonna get, this is the big one. That's gonna be Sean's. It's gonna be Sean's and the smaller one underneath here is gonna be mine. I'm gonna put cheese on that one, okay? Additionally, at the same exact time, the um, meatballs are done. So I have to open this and look at them and see what they need to do. Okay. So you can look at it here. I don't know if you can see very well. The beef burgers are very juicy. Right, very juicy. The um, Little burgers, the Beyond Burgers, no, the Beyond Burgers are a little juicy. The Impossible Burgers on the right are dry looking. So I'm gonna turn them around and put them in for a couple more minutes. let's say three minutes three minutes okay so everything this is done these are the beef burgers all right this one's mine that one's Sean have a little give in the middle hopefully I didn't overcook them too much I took them out immediately when they were done so I'm putting the beef meatballs on this plate um, you can see they look juicy. They're still quite soft. And those are the beef meatballs. This is the Beyond Burger. This one's not cooked yet. So I'm going to put this on the stove right now. But in the meantime, take that off my nice and soft. I'm going to put the Beyond Meatballs on the Beyond plate. Same thing here, this is the Impossible Burger. These are the Impossible Meatballs. They're bigger, but they look very dry. These are gonna get uh, sit here while I cook both those burgers. So this burger here has a little relish on it. So that's Sean's burger. Ah, it's moving. Okay. That's gonna be Sean's burger. Ah, help me. So there we go, there's Sean's burger right there. I made a mess. And now I'm gonna put my burger on this one. Mine has cheese and it's a little smaller. All right. So you can now tell which one's mine. Cheese with no relish, relish, no cheese. I've got this, um, I prepped the buns for the Beyond and Impossible Burger. There is ketchup, um, a tomato, and a spinach on it. That's it. So now, just to wait. Waiting for these bad boys. I have combined the burgers 
them, excuse me, I combined the meatballs to one plate and I kept them organized the same way I did in the air fryer. Beef beyond impossible. And I'm gonna keep them in this row and I can tell the beef because I put a bit more filling there so I know beef beyond impossible. And so we're gonna set these aside because these are going for a later meal. Okay, time to put them over. I'm gonna put this timer for just two minutes this time. So I don't want them to overcook and be dry because that won't be fair. And so we're almost done. Almost done cooking, guys. Okay, the timer just went off, so I'm turning that off. And I'm going to take these out, still keeping their place, putting them on the plate. Turning that off the fire. So I still have these on the left, right, as I'm supposed to. Now I'm going to cut these in half. So I'm going to cut these burgers. Remember, this one is the impossible, and this one is the beyond. I love how I was able to keep track of these. That was impressive. <laughs> oh, the not track of the tomatoes, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I cut this without making a disaster? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, almost. Yeah. Okay. That's falling down, but that's all right. This one as well. How do I get these on the plate so we know, each know what we're eating? So I'm going to do the same thing with the plates that I did with the air fryer. And it's gonna be easy to tell actually which one's which, but this is a Beyond. Beef, Beyond, and Impossible. <laughs> You see that right there? So this is beef. This is the beyond, half of the beyond. This is half of the impossible. And impossible. Guys, everything's done. Woo! Now we gotta taste it. Okay, all the burgers are done. And we are going to, <laughs> we're going to um, try all the burgers. But first we're gonna eat the beef burgers. You're gonna take a bite out of those, just so we have a baseline on what beef tastes like. I don't know how well seasoned they are to the plate. So obviously the big one is the beef burger. So we're gonna taste the beef burgers. Mine has cheese, lettuce, tomato, ketchup. I mean, spinach, tomato, ketchup. Yeah, this was not a good idea. It's okay. It's all right, I got it. Why is it sweet? Good burger. Good burger. Oh, it's the bread. Could use a little more salt, but it's a good burger. Not overcooked, it's a little pink in the middle. Good baked burger. Okay. Now for the others. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my plate. So the other two are plant-based? The other two are plant-based. I'm not gonna tell you which one's which. I know which one's which. So, but you gotta talk about what it looks like first, okay? So this is burger A. Let's see if it'll focus. 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 I swear the autofocus on this thing is broken. Okay. <laughs> so burger A is uh, beyond. You think burger A is beyond burger? Yep. But I'm thinking that burger A is um, you think it's the Beyond Burger? Why does that? Why does that? Um, Impossible loves to tout how they got big blood in their burgers. So. Mm, okay. It's 
tastes like cooked cat food. <laughs> It's cooked well. It's not dry, but guys, that flavor. Fine to me. You think so? Mm -hmm. It's definitely not a beef burger, but it doesn't taste bad. Okay. That flavor is so off. It tastes, I can't, I can't think of anything other than cat food, unfortunately. I don't know why, why was gray? I don't know. Can you describe the flavor? Um, I can't. It doesn't taste like, like meat to me, but um, it doesn't taste bad. Okay. It's yeah. kind of what I imagine a bean burger would taste like. I, I don't know what to say about that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I am glad it's not super salty or anything like that. A lot of um, vegetarian food I find is over salted. Yeah, they don't this, put any salt. I don't and this is not really much in it. So it's, it's like raw meat. It's supposed to be the closest to raw meat. All right, so this is burger B, which is, he was right, the other one was beyond, so this is impossible. And you can see it, it's a bit more red in the middle. Yeah, that's that's what gave it away So, for me, is that it's, they're, they're pretty proud of the uh, fact that they got the big blood. Well, alternative blood, however you want to put it. This one's a little bit drier. A little bit. Remember, I cooked them all the same time. Slightly drier. More of a meaty texture, I think. This one reminds me more of meat. If not in flavor, at least in texture. I don't get any flavor, really. Um, no flavor, really, right? It's just, yeah. it's meat texture for sure. Definitely feels like meat, mm -hmm. but it doesn't taste like meat either. But it's okay. It doesn't taste like meat, but it doesn't taste like anything. I think. I think because I have the tomatoes and stuff on the ketchup. I don't feel like it tastes like anything. I like, I've had an Impossible Burger before, and the one thing I noticed is that it sears really well, so the outside is nice and crunchy. But if someone gave me this as a burger and didn't tell me it wasn't meat, I might not guess that it's not meat. Do you think you would? No. If the toppings are on point, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Oh, there's a flavor. I got a little flavor. It's a fake meat flavor. But it's it's not bad. It's not bad. No, because I've grown up sitting at the kids' table, and sometimes you get those burgers that are not sirloin, but they're like mostly bread or whatever. More filling than anything. <laughs> yeah, more filling than anything. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely choose either of these plant paste burgers over like those. Um, the burgers we had last quality, time? The, the low quality um, frozen patties. Or the oh, patties really? that we had before. Oh, I yeah, would the, choose the plant -based. either mm -hmm. of these two plant-based burgers over any of those. I'll put a link to that video. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but yeah. I'll put a link to that video. We don't really like any of those burgers. No, I would choose either of these two over any of those any day. Yeah, this, is, this one is good. I feel like the Impossible one is good and will definitely pass for me. I'm sorry, but that Beyond Burger to me is absolutely disgusting. I'm fine to me. He was fine, but you know, don't listen to him. He's bad. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, the flavor was just, I can't get past the cat food. That's all I can think of. When I was making it, as soon as I opened it, I was tasting it, just, it was, not that I've eaten cat food. Because that's what it sounds like. But I've had cats, <laughs> and I know what cat food smells like. 
and I know the texture, and that's all I can think of. You have the bargain pate. Yeah, he said before that he thought it looked and smelled like pate, which is fine, but I think that, that flavor is horrid. I would not eat the Beyond Burger. I guess he would. So, there's that on the burgers, but we're gonna have meatballs with pasta later on. We'll get back to you on that one. Hello guys, so it is nighttime, it's time for dinner, and I am about to make some pasta with the meatballs. Now, um, let me show you. So I have now put the meatballs, oh, so I've now put the meatballs in this pan, and I have still maintained the uh, separation. These are the ground beef meatballs. These are the um, Beyond Bur Burger, Beyond Meat meatballs, and these are the Impossible Meat Burgers, uh, meatballs. And so I'm going to throw some sauce in here and let them slowly simmer. That's all I'm going to do because they're already fully cooked. I'm using Michael's of Brooklyn Putanesca sauce. Okay, basic sauce. Does have all um, olives, capers, anchovies, and all the other things that go in pasta sauce. I'm gonna put this in here. Um, I can't open. John, <laughs> I can't open the sauce. <laughs> Okay, so now it's dinner time, and we're going to taste all three meatballs, ground, um, regular ground beef, um, the Beyond Burger Meat, and the Impossible Burger Meat, all right? So this one here is the Beyond. Yes, that's the that's the ground beef on yours, I think. Wait, no, you're holding it backwards. This is the ground beef. <laughs> I think. Yes, this is the ground beef one. <laughs> He's holding his plate backwards. All right, so basic meatball. Mm, tastes good with the sauce. The sauce is very olive tasting, so. Mm. Good meatball. That's a good meatball. All right, Beyond Burger meatball, which is this one right here. In the middle. How's it gonna taste with a, a sauce? Nope. <laughs> Remember guys, he liked it in the burger. He thought it was okay. With the burger toppings, it was fine. It wasn't my favorite, it was fine. But it's not good as a meatball. Okay. That's a no. It's still, it's still, it's still, I'm still getting it. And you know what I'm gonna say. That cat fit food flavor. Impossible me, Al. Huh? That's good. Passable, I can eat it. Yeah, the impossible uh, meatball um, is good. Again, doesn't that Beyond Meat ruin my taste bud for the next burger? I can still taste it. <laughs> um. Mhm. Mm it's my favorite plant base. Um, the regular meatball still tastes like a regular superior meatball. to me, mm -hmm. but, but this the is okay. Impossible Meatball, Possible Burger Meatball, is definitely the better of the plant-based 
This Beyond thing is going in the trash. It's so nasty. I'm sorry. Yeah, if I was gonna go uh, plant-based and not eat the meat, I would definitely um, use the Impossible. She hates the Beyond Meat so much that she's throwing them all away. <laughs> so even if I wanted to eat it, I'm not allowed. No, that's nasty. I would not let him eat something so grotesque. And by the way, he's throwing his out too. <laughs> he just threw it in the trash. He's like, nah. It's, it's not, it's not. Good. It's not good. So overall, of the two plant-based meats, the Impossible Meat surpasses the Beyond Meat. To me, in the way it looked, the Beyond Meat was gray, whereas the um, Impossible Meat was more red. Also, texture too. the texture. The texture of the Impossible Meat was so much better. It looked more like meat. It still looks like, like meat. Should have made sloppy joes. Oh, that would have been good. The sloppy texture, joes would have been good. Definitely, the texture definitely would have showed. Yeah. The Beyond Meat texture was, again, I'm gonna repeat myself, or I'm gonna use Sean's words, was like pate. Like, you know pate is like a liver, mushed liver. It, to me, it reminds me of cat food, but again, either way, it was not, it was not pleasant. So the Impossible Meat is so much better than the Beyond Meat. I would not recommend that for anyone. It was gross. So I'm actually pleased with, um, with the impossible meat. Um, this is my second time having it, and the first time it was like, eh, but it was a little getting used to, but this time, much, much better. Much, much, much better overall. So what do you think? You agree? Uh, yeah, I agree. So there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Say peace out. We'll catch you guys next time on a rebound. Peace out.